welcome to the European Enterprise Promotion and Small and Mid-Cap Award Ceremony 2020. Please welcome your moderator today, Francesca Van Heelen. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2020 European Enterprise Promotion Awards and the European Small and Mid-Cap Awards. We are delighted to be able to share with you today these two awards that celebrate EU initiatives which have SMEs and entrepreneurs at their heart. To tell us a little more about these awards, we are pleased to welcome Christine Schreiber, Deputy EU SME Envoy and Director for SME Policy European Commission. Christine, welcome. Thank you, Francesca. This year, the awards have been set against the backdrop of a global pandemic. COVID-19 has had and will be having a lasting impact on the SME community and the European economy as a whole. It has therefore never been more important to celebrate initiatives like the European Enterprise Promotion Awards and the European Small and Mid-Cap Awards. Initiatives which support and encourage SMEs and contribute to the European economy and sustained SME growth. As this year is a little different to other years, we have also decided to join forces with the European Small and Mid-Cap Awards. The European Small and Mid-Cap Awards were created in 2011 to promote best practices and encourage more small and medium-sized enterprises to access capital markets via IPOs. This year, the European Small and Mid-Cap Awards are not awarded in a beautiful Art Nouveau theater, but in front of a much bigger virtual audience. The awards are a joint initiative of the European Commission the Federation of European Securities Exchanges and European Issuers. The process has been supported by a distinguished jury that selects the best companies nominated by their exchanges. The award showcases the diversity of successful SMEs and growth companies listed at European markets and aim to promote stock listings. These companies, as in many other European success stories that thrive at European capital markets, are critical to the economic recovery. They help us accomplish the EU's goals of job creation, competitiveness and growth. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank, thank the members of both juries for being so diligent and generous with their time and commitment. They had to review and evaluate a great number of projects and making the winner selection was not an easy task. Well, thank you, Christine, for those uh, introductory words. To open the European Small and Mid-Cap Awards, let me now introduce the first of our two co-organisers, Luc van Steenkiste, who is the chairman of European Issuers. European Issuers is a pan-European organisation which represents the interests of publicly quoted companies from all sectors to the EU, which is very apt as these are the companies that will be showcased in the awards here today. Luc, over to you. Thank you, Francesca for giving me the floor. Ladies and gentlemen, during the first semester of 2020, as one of the members of the expert group advising the European Commission how to speed up the process of the Capital Markets Union launched in 2014, we insisted, amongst others, on two important actions. This was based on the main difference between the United States and Europe in relation to financing of companies where it is a fact that in the United States, financing through stock exchange is the main source of money, while in the European Union, bank financing is by far the solution mostly selected. Our first recommendation was to review the very stringent regulations installed by ECB and the European Commission after the bank crisis of 2008-2009, so that also, for example, pension funds could more easily invest the available cash in quoted companies, this without taking an unacceptable risk. The second recommendation is related to the important drop in IPOs over the last years in Europe due to the heavy regulation, burden and subsequent cost for a small and medium enterprise entering for the first time the stock market. Indeed, regulation in Europe being a work in progress, taking into account the existence of 27 countries with each their own laws and rules, and this combined with new regulation coming from the European Commission without necessarily elimination of local rules, is too costly. Here, our recommendation was to foresee for all IPOs in the future 
a transition period of several years combined with a complier explain principle so that companies could limit the transition cost and gradually scale up to the required level. Thank you. And thank you, Luc. Now I'd like to introduce Peter Koblich, who is CEO of the Prague Stock Exchange and president of the Federation of European Securities Exchange, FESE for short. FESE represents the European Stock Exchange and was a co-founder of these awards alongside the European Commission and European issuers. Thank you for joining us today, Peter. The floor is yours. Thank you, Francesca. Thanks also to Kristin and her team for hosting these awards as a part of SME Assembly. I'm the president of FESA, an association based in Brussels that represents the European stock exchanges. Our members strongly support all public and private initiatives that provide support to SMEs in accessing finance through public markets. I would like to congratulate all the companies reaching the shortlist and stress that they cannot be underestimated. They really do provide the foundation for a strong European economy. They are vitally important in sustaining growth, creating high level of innovations, wealth distribution and job creation. Stock exchanges are designed to ensure the highest level of safety, integrity and transparency of the public markets. Attracting SMEs to the market is crucial and can be done by supporting local ecosystems that would generate conditions for listing of companies. EU policies can make a difference in preventing further loss of those local and regional ecosystems by sustaining the full spectrum of players serving middle and smaller companies and their investors. They also need to deliver a comprehensive strategy on how to boost equity and non-equity financing at all stages of the financing escalator. We are all facing difficult times right now. Exceptional measures were rolled out all across Europe and I'm pleased to say that stock exchanges move very quickly to successfully implement their business continuity plans to secure business as usual. We stand here ready to serve those companies who need urgent access to finance. We need to ensure that their financing needs are met without too burdensome process. I'm confident that the European Commission's Capital Market Action Plan will address it. Let me finish by wishing all the companies shortlisted today good luck. You should all be very proud of your achievements. Thank you, Peter, Luke and Kristin. Without further ado, let's get started with the European Small and Mid-Cap Awards. As mentioned by Christine, we will start by celebrating European markets and recognizing some of Europe's most successful small and mid-cap companies that are listed on the stock exchange. We will begin with the category Rising Star. The first award to be presented today focuses on those SMEs with a market capitalization of up to 50 million euros. The jury's role was to examine whether the nominated companies, for example, stand out as an exceptional performer in its group and have built a strong position from which they can develop in the future. Not an easy task for the jury, but I'm pleased to welcome you all. A very good day to all of you. Are you ready? <laughs> well, welcome. Um, let's take a look at the three short videos which tells us a bit more about what they do. Fodilia helps develop Finnish food companies into flourishing international success stories so that consumers can enjoy locally and responsibly produced clean food. We own food industry pioneers who invest in innovative products, value-adding customer concepts and advanced manufacturing processes. Our portfolio includes ready meal manufacturer Filia, snack food manufacturer Regal Snacks, meat and vegetarian food manufacturer BioFood, and our joint venture with Bravedo Group Fodbar, which provides a cost-effective all-in-one solution for outsourcing food services. Fordalia's companies provide consumers with locally and responsibly produced clean food with traceable origins. ML System 
is one of Poland's first businesses to have dedicated itself to the design, engineering and production of building integrated photovoltaic cell systems, which generate electrical power from sunlight. ML System manufactures BIPV cells and modules. Aside from the customizable technologies, technical perimeters and sizes, the solutions provide additional significant properties and functionalities that are important to building architecture or building usage. The company is the Polish market leader in its industry. With a strong presence in more than 40 countries, Compuestos is a leading company in the production of plastic compounds in Europe. Based in Barcelona, it is one of the leading international suppliers of high-performance compounds and master batches, which are used as a raw material in multiple industries around the world. The company maintains a strong commitment to the environment and works in favor of the circular economy of plastic and commits to sustainable innovation to develop biodegradable products and composites, as well as having a range of products that improve the carbon footprint of the final products. I'm sure you'd agree, a fantastic mix of companies from all over the EU. And I've heard the details of the winning company, and I won't keep you in suspense. The winner of the Rising Star category 2020 is Fodelia, listed on NASDAQ. Congratulations. And I'm over to uh, Miko Takola, CEO of Fodelia, for some words on your win. Thank you so much. Good afternoon, everyone. I highly value this recognition and I want to thank the organizers and the jury of the competition, as well as NASDAQ Helsinki team. Just a year ago, we had a very exciting and busy weeks going on, as our listing due date was at the end of November. Already then, I had a great faith in our company and our team but I couldn't ever imagine how much positive feedback we got from the investors. This first year as a listed company has been very interesting and educational. The successful listing changed our financing position and it enables the growth. I'm sure we can bring vitality to Finnish food industry as we promised in our vision. Thank you so much. Thank you, Miko, and uh, thank you, Erja Retsen from NASDAQ for also joining us today. The exchanges should also be recognized as a contributor towards these successes. Congratulations again to Fidelia and both Compuestos and ML System for reaching the shortlist. Moving on to our next category, International Star. To qualify for this category, the jury were tasked with assessing newly listed mid-cap companies that boast impressive results in terms of international sales, profit and market share growth. Companies in this category also had to demonstrate a sound strategy for taking advantage of opportunities outside its own country. Congratulations to the three shortlisted companies and exchanges. Welcome to you all. All right, ladies and gentlemen, before announcing the winner, let's take a look at three short videos about the companies. Diaceutics is a leading data analytics and implementation service provider in diagnostic commercialization. They have been leading this field for 13 years entirely focused on the intersection between diagnostics and therapeutic decision-making. They provide an end-to-end -end service that encompasses everything from understanding the diagnostic landscape to test implementation in treatment pathways. Diaceutics believes that every patient should get the precision medicine they deserve. Proeduca Group is a holding company for several online higher institutions, seeking to satisfy the educational needs of society. The use of new technologies and a unique learning methodology are the bedrock on which Proeduca shapes its education system. Central to this structure is a learning platform specially designed to manage its students' learning processes. It offers various resources, such as virtual classrooms, forums, 
digital libraries, collaborative working spaces and a virtual museum. Founded in 1958, San Lorenzo is a global luxury yacht builder, manufacturing made-to-measure yachts and super yachts, fully customized for each client, characterized by a distinctive and timeless design. Their mission is to be the shipyard of choice for uncompromising yachtsmen and to be recognized as the ultimate reference in made-to-measure yachts and super yachts. San Lorenzo's manufacturing activities are carried out through four shipyards and the group employs approximately 500 people and cooperates with a network of 1,500 qualified artisan companies. Some great companies there. Congratulations again to Diasutix, Pro Educa and San Lorenzo. So I won't delay any further. I have here with me the results. Congratulations to Diasutix listed on the London Stock Exchange. Congratulations. I'm very happy. Well, I hand over to you, uh, Philip White, uh, CFO of Diasutix, for a short reaction. Um, oh, hi. We are hugely excited. I want to thank everyone involved in the European Small and Mid Cap Awards 2020 and the EU Commission. It's a great honour for, for us to receive this award for International Star. Um, you know, the video touched on what we do. You know, we operate in the field of precision medicine. We have just launched a groundbreaking data analytics and collaboration platform called DXRX. <laughs> And it will allow the pharmaceutical industry to improve testing, allow faster and more widespread adoption of precision medicine drugs, and it ultimately helps patients get the right drug at the right time. It also improves return on investment for our pharmaceutical clients. I am particularly proud of our people. We hire and retain the best people globally, and we've, we've managed to retain that entrepreneurial culture and that provides a fun, challenging and growth mindset organization. Um, you know, we couldn't have done this without the help of our investors, our brokers and, and bought from the London Stock Exchange, hugely helpful to us and um, supporting us right from IPO through COVID and into the future. And we are hugely excited about our um, uh, XRX platform and how that will change um, in the global testing infrastructure both for our clients and most importantly for, for patients. Um, thank you very much for this award. We are very, very pleased. Well, and thank you and well done, uh, Philip. And also thanks uh, to uh, Bod Bucky from the London Stock Exchange for joining us today. It's a big achievement for all three companies to reach the shortlist. Congratulations to you all. And now to our third category of the European Small and Mid-Cap Awards, Star of 2020, which recognizes an exceptional performer in its sector. This is awarded to an exceptional leader that stands out from the crowd in a broad range of areas. The companies that have been shortlisted are recognized as being well-managed and have made good use of the proceeds of flotation. And welcome to you, our shortlisted and exchange companies. Hello there, hope you're well and doing good. Okay, all right, let's go. Here again, a short video to give you some further insights into these companies. Harafia is one of the leading companies operating in the sauna and spa market. Harvia's brands and product portfolio are well known in the market and the company's comprehensive product portfolio strives to meet the needs of the international sauna and spa market of both private and professional customers. Harvia's revenue totaled 74.1 million euro in 2019 and with EOS the pro forma net sales of the group are estimated to exceed 90 million euro. The company employs more than 500 professionals in Finland, China, Hong Kong, Romania, Austria, United States, Germany, Estonia and Russia. Isertis is a technological consultancy that simplifies the digital transformation of organizations using technology, consulting services and outsourcing. 
Isertis understand digital transformation as a deep and cross-cutting change that influences companies beyond processes, changing them forever. The technological revolution has brought with it a vast list of challenges, challenges that Isertis assume as their own, with the goal of offering customers the most avant-garde solutions of the moment. They have 750 employees with offices in nine countries and have implemented projects in more than 50 countries. Ten Square Games is one of the largest and fastest growing Polish mobile game developers with headquarters in Wrocław and an additional studio in Warsaw. The company focuses on the production of hobby games in a free-to-play distribution model. It currently employs over 250 people. Since 2011, 10 Square Games has released more than 200 games, including Let's Fish, Fishing Clash and Wild Hunt. Fishing Clash is among the top 50 grossing on Android worldwide. 10 Square Games has more than 21 million active players worldwide. Congratulations, Harvia, Isertis and 10 Square Games. A real mix of products on offer there. Very interesting. Without further ado, I'm happy to announce that the winner of Star of 2020 is Isertis listed on BME. Congratulations. Congratulations. Let's hear from uh, Pablo Martin, president and founder of Isertis. Hello. 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 Um, uh, thank you, thank you, uh, thank you for your words. Uh, it's a great honor to accept uh, this award on behalf of everyone at uh, ICRTs. I'd like to congratulate the Federation of European Securities Exchanges uh, and European Research and the European Commission for promoting the, for many years the recognition the conversion of a small and medium-sized low companies in the capital markets. We are especially proud to receive this award that reflects European markets working together at a time when social city more than ever need a sense of union. In particular, we are grateful with BMA for its significant contribution to the strength of all company and the support of the brand on, in our first year of listed company, during which our sales have risen by more than 240%. A small and medium uh, companies form the base of the productive economy in Europe. They represent uh, about uh, or more than 98% of the total, which make uh, then very important for economic growth and job creation on, in all our countries. Finally, finally, I'd like to thank the European Small and My Caps Award for promotion the European capital markets, which uh, enable our companies to be key drivers of wheel generation and development of society in general. Uh, thank you, thank you very much. Well, and uh, thank you very much, uh, Pablo, and congratulations to Azertis. Let me also take this opportunity to thank Jesus Gonzalez for joining from BME, where Azertis is listed. Well done to all three companies reaching the shortlist is already a recognition of the excellent work that you have achieved. Moving on to our penultimate prize for the Small and Mid-Cap Awards. This prize will be awarded to a newly listed mid-cap company that places innovation at the center of its strategy for business development. The companies in this category may have or are introducing innovative technology to the market or are already using innovative techniques in its day-to-day -day operations. Welcome to our three shortlisted and exchange companies. Hello there. Good to see you all, welcome. Again, let's watch a brief, a brief video on each of the companies. Frequentis, headquartered in Vienna, Austria, is an international supplier of communication and information systems for control centers with safety critical tasks. 
Such control center solutions are developed and marketed by Frequentis in the sectors such as air traffic management, civil and military air traffic control, air defense and public safety and transport, police, fire brigade, ambulance services, shipping, railways. Products and solutions from Frequentis can be found in over 30,000 operator working positions and in approximately 140 countries. Honolulu leads in the field in the growth of domestic and self-consumption in Spain. Its proposal is clear and distinct. It was the first electricity company to implement a simplified compensation package in the Spanish market, Honolulu Cloud a program that allows you to deduct surpluses from your electricity bill. In other words, the excess energy produced that can't be consumed at that moment. In line with this strategy, Hololus was the first European power company to become a B Corp certified company, a guarantee that encompasses more than 2,400 companies from 50 countries and whose objective is to give visibility to those that, aside from generating economic profits, innovate in order to make a positive impact on employees, local communities and the environment. Norbit is a global provider of tailored technology to selected niches. The company is structured to address its key markets. Oceans targeting global maritime markets, intelligent traffic systems offering connectivity solutions for the transport sector, and product innovation and realization with in house multidisciplinary RD and manufacturing. Norbit's HQ is in Trondheim, Norway, with its manufacturing facilities in Selbu and Roros, Norway, and 12 offices around the world. Without further delay, the winner of Star of Innovation is Frequent is listed on Deutsche Börse. Congratulations. And I give the floor to the CEO of Frequent is Norbert Haslacher. Welcome and congratulations. Oh, thank, thank you very much. Uh, we are very honored to receive this uh, Star of Innovation Award. It also makes us proud that uh, our innovations are acknowledged uh, with uh, such an award. Uh, and Frequentis has changed the market with new communication and information systems for control centers, meanwhile, in more than 140 countries. Uh, two examples of the latest innovations are the integration of drones uh, into regular air traffic management and the implementation of 5G applications in mission critical control centers around the globe. Um, we spend more than 77% of our annual sales and research and development, and the same amount additionally is funded by clients for research in specific rentist programs. So our vision is to be number one in control center solutions worldwide. In order to expand our product portfolio, we made two important acquisitions in 2020 as well. So since the IPO in 2019, we have the opportunity now of additional sources of finance available which gives us more flexibility. And again, dear jury, thank you again for the award. Our employees around the world will be very pleased that their daily work has been honored uh, on a European level with this award. Thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you, Norbert. And of course, congratulations again. And also congratulations to Hola Luz and Norbert for being shortlisted from a number of nominations. Finally, for the last award in the European Small and Mid-Cap Awards, the European Commission, European Issuers and FESE, in addition to showcasing the excellent companies we have seen during these awards, the organisers felt it was important to also recognise an initiative, an individual or a company which has had a significant impact or provided significant support to small and mid-cap issuers accessing capital markets much like those we will see in the next half of the awards. This year, the jury unanimously agreed to recognize the work of Lighthouse. Congratulations to you. It was agreed by the jury that Lighthouse were certainly recognized as an organization that was helping companies and in particular providing research for SMEs, which is a really important service, in particular when access to research has diminished significantly since the introduction of certain regulation. 
Before hearing from the Secretary General Javier Mendes Gera, let's watch a short clip to see what they do. Lighthouse is a fundamental analysis project of the Spanish Institute of Financial Analysts, a non-profit organization aimed at the secondary equity market. One of their basic principles is not to compete with the sell side. Its aim is to provide a service to the market and provide the coverage of those stocks that the sell side does not cover spontaneously. Lighthouse aims to offer the market fully independent analysis without conflicts of interest and was created to provide a permanent and long-term solution for all orphan stocks on the Spanish market. Lighthouse is a service for the market which, since it began at the end of 2018, has already initiated coverage of circa 20 stocks, reducing the rate of orphan stocks on the Spanish market by over 10%. And now, some words from Jafi. Hi there, good afternoon. Well, this is Lighthouse, Independent Research. And for the Spanish Society of Financial Analysts as a whole, it's an enormous pleasure and great honor to receive this award today. First of all, I'd like to thank the Federation of European Stock Exchanges, the European Commission, and European issuers for distinguishing us with their decision. Obviously, it is a great boost an incentive to our commitment in relation to providing best-of-breed research for SMEs, or at least that is what we aim for. A badly needed research, I may say, since sadly enough, all over the place, small and mid-sized companies are losing regular coverage by financial analysts. This de-researching, so to speak, of the markets has obviously negative consequences for the company's visibility and possibilities of obtaining market funding and also limits the number of new companies entering the market through IPOs. The war is a great incentive to keep moving forward to reducing the list of orphan stocks in the Spanish market. To that respect, we will end 2020 with full coverage of around 25 listed companies, and the list obviously will grow next year, with a target of over 40 in maximum period of two years. And we're very happy since the impact in liquidity and market information of the companies is already acknowledged on market statistics. We, as many people present here today, believe in a future strong capital markets union, with more European companies tapping capital markets as a source of their financial diversification. But financial markets need reliable, prompt, and accurate information. This is what we're here for. I always say that our real success will come when we disappear. This, is, this will mean that the market has reached full research coverage and investors are getting what they want and need. Thanks so much. And thank you, uh, Javier. And that concludes, ladies and gentlemen, the European Small and Mid-Cap Awards for 2020. May I take this opportunity on behalf of the European Commission European issuers and the Federation of European Securities Exchanges to congratulate all the winners and nominated companies. The trophies will make their way to your desks shortly. We thank you all for taking part and recognize that access to finance is key to a company's success. And whilst there are many steps to be taken before considering listing on an exchange, it's clear from the companies seen here today that from small beginnings, a company can achieve so much and accessing finance on an exchange is achievable by all.